Hello to all of you who are overly punctual to our today's webinar. Before we start the presentation, we would like to check with you the technical features of the platform and of course to find out if you can hear us loud and clear. On the side of this platform there are several symbols. Among them is a raised hand. Can you please raise your virtual hands for us to know that this feature works? and that you can hear us loud and clear. Next to the raised hand is a text field with a question mark. This is actually our tech, uh, chat for today. Here you can write down your questions for us. Please note, what you write in the chat can only be seen by us. We would like to point out that depending on the type of question, we may discuss them right away during the webinar. Other questions which we consider too specific, we will address later after the webinar in the chat. There is also a symbol denoting documents. If you click on this icon, you can download your personal document package about the webinar. Okay. Everything seems to work. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our webinar. My name is Ralph Sitar, and I will deliver this presentation today along with my colleague Wolfgang Stoll. Good day. My name is Wolfgang Stoll. Welcome to today's webinar of Bühler Technologies. We are going to talk today about washout optimized sample gas coolers. This presentation will consist of three sections. Let's start with the first part. As Wolfgang already mentioned, we are talking today about washout optimized sample gas coolers. This is for the gas analysis of highly soluble gas components such as SO2, H2S, NO2 and HCl. We will discuss how these components can be accurately measured for emission monitoring and process control. Why is this necessary at all? We will explain this by using the example of SO2. There are four motivations why, and we will discuss each one in more detail. Environmental awareness is strongly increasing worldwide. A great focus is placed on air quality. As individuals, we do not have much influence, but if everyone acts together, we can have a large influence to improve air pollution. According to the World Health Organization, around 7 million deaths are caused annually due to air pollution, of which 600,000 are children. Therefore, it is absolutely necessary to tighten the emission standards. What do reduced emission levels mean for a manufacturer of gas analysis components? The main problem we face is sample gas cooling with an SO2 content. Wolfgang, can you please explain why SO2 is so problematic in gas analysis? Sure, Ralph. SO2 and water tend to react with each other. To put it simple, when SO2 and water meet, there is a high possibility for them to react together. For example, SO2 is a hundred times more soluble in water than NO2. During gas conditioning, we are now confronted with the following. We have a sample containing SO2 and condensate or water. Ideal conditions for the interaction of both components which we are determined to break. How this works is shown in the following video.
Point number three, the reduction of the emission limit values for SO2. To achieve this, improvements in the measuring method are required. We see here in the overview regulations from different bodies, starting with the European EN 15267-3, followed by a Chinese regulation and finally a maritime emission regulation. Here you will see that we must go down to a maximum value of 12 ppm, which should be proven. That means that an emission limit of 12 ppm, if 2 to 3 ppm are washed out, it means there is a falsification of the reading of nearly 30%. And since this 12 ppm should be measured, Bula Technologies has considered how to really measure 12 ppm, and we will introduce this to you. It made no sense for Bühler Technologies to develop some highly complex solution, which is probably too expensive to be accepted by the market. We had to find a solution which is technically feasible and cost effective. Covering both is the cold extractive gas conditioning, at which Bühler Technologies has over 50 years of experience. We are using a standard sampling train, consisting of a heated gas sampling probe, a sample gas cooler and the Bühler Technology sample gas pump before the gas goes to the analyzer. So what would you say is the biggest challenge or source of error in gas analysis? As everybody knows who is in this business, a source of error can be the sample gas conditioning. Therefore, we can simply say the biggest challenge is condensation. Condensation, the source of error in gas analysis. What exactly is a sample gas? A sample gas contains components to be measured, plus water, acid, and perhaps solvents. To assist in the selection of a suitable sample gas cooler, we need to have the complete picture. For example, the sample gas cooler outlet viewpoint, which is normally set to 5 degrees centigrade. Under most circumstances, the outlet viewpoint does not have to be so exact but we have to remember that we are talking here about measurements in the low ppm range. Other requirements for the sample gas cooler are also important. Where is it installed? The material of the heat exchanger. The concentrations of the components to be measured. If they stay the same, there is no problem. But if they change, this can cause cross interferences to the measured components. The same applies to aerosols. If they increase, they can cause a falsification of the reading. And finally, the process dew point at every operating stage. Thank you, Wolfgang. These are already a lot of points which need to be considered and I will even address a few more. Cross interference from other components can falsify the measurement. Corrosion attacks the products and can lead to a false reading. Cold spots are really bad because the condensation is then out of control. Chemical reactions can remove the components to be measured, for example, SO2. Likewise, Unstable measuring conditions influence the accuracy of the reading. All these points are essential for the selection of a suitable sample gas cooler. Since this is a rather complex subject with almost enough material for an entire webinar, we suggest to make the first break at this point to check if there are already questions in the chat.
Yes, indeed, there are questions in the chat, which we can address right away. We wish to thank the audience for your participation. Uh, an interesting question has come in, Wolfgang, and perhaps you can answer it. Why do you say that the extractive measuring system is an inexpensive solution? The cold extractive system is in comparison with a laser significantly much more economic. And it is a well-established solution for gas analysis on the market. Another question, Ralph, maybe you would like to answer that? for us, why does the gas composition play such a big part? This is a more complex subject. How is the moisture content? How high are, for example, the relative concentrations? Is there any interaction? Everything must be considered. Before you can predict or identify what the concrete challenge is for a specific gas composition. I hope we have been able to answer these questions. If you have further questions, you can send them in and we will analyze them with you. Now we will start with the second part. We will go into more detail now, introducing the SO2 gas cooling concept developed by Bühler Technologies. For this, there are four good reasons. The first building block of our concept are the washout optimized coolers. The key point is the two-stage cooling. There are two heat exchangers, especially designed for the task. There is just one gas path and the washout optimization is achieved through a new heat management. All this can be extended through a highly efficient pre-cooling stage from Bühler Technologies, which has a very compact design and which can easily be added to the existing system. In addition to this pre-cooler, we have a compact acid dosing unit. It allows one to measure very small SO2 ranges. The fourth reason is our customer service and technical advice through outside and inside sales. We work closely together with our colleagues from R&D to develop products and carry out test runs. What is our goal? To provide a customized sample gas solution. That means we work together with you on a sample gas cooler, which is suitable for your application. We will also consider compliance with current regulations, not forgetting environmental protection. Building block one, a technical solution for the SO2 washout optimized sample gas coolers. We have stuck to the proven quality we have been able to offer for years with a maximum dew point stability of plus minus 0 0.1 Kelvin. In addition, the coolers are able to withstand a high ambient temperature up to 50 degrees centigrade. Now let's have a look how the washout optimized sample gas coolers of Bühler Technologies are performing under norm conditions. R&D has been working on a solution already for several years, taking into account changing dew points, gas flow, gas pressure and ambient temperature. The various sample gas coolers and heat exchangers we are going to present are the result of this development process. 
we can build on this application specific knowledge when our customers are sending in gas matrices for us to evaluate a potential SO2 washout. Due to numerous tests, we achieved a high degree of reproducibility. As I already pointed out, if you have a specific application for which you would like to use our expertise, please do not hesitate to contact Ralph or myself. So what have we done to optimize the washout effect? As already mentioned, through the two-stage cooling and the optimized heat exchangers, we achieve a better cooling profile for the sample gas and therefore a reduced washout. The surfaces repel H2O very well. The advantage is that less large droplets form, which attracts the sample gas. The condensate is removed quickly to keep the interaction between the water-soluble components and the condensate low. We can say that without acid dosing, SO2 measuring ranges larger than 50 ppm can surely be achieved. To sum up the advantages of the new SO2 washout optimized sample gas coolers of Bühler Technologies. The sample gas coolers comply with the newest standards. Measuring ranges larger than 50 ppm of SO2 according to the European standard EN15267-3 have been achieved in TUV certification tests. If your application is in a range of less than 50 ppm, we are confident that we can reach the desired performance by using additional acid dosing. Variety is the spice of life. Well, it certainly applies to coffee and we think it applies to sample gas coolers as well. <laughs> well, well said, Ralf. It is also one of my daily favorites. We have a complete range of eight coolers, both Peltier and Compressor. A cooling power range of 30 to 80 watts which is around the maximum power normally necessary for sample gas cooling. Let's take a look at our models of washout optimized sample gas coolers. The smallest model in terms of physical dimensions is the TC Standard Plus. The next model in our range of Peltier type sample gas coolers is the TC MIDI Plus, followed by the compressor type EGK219 Plus. And last but not least, the RC1.2 Plus, another compressor type model. Before I forget, the plus at the end of each model designates the sample gas cooler is equipped with a washout optimized heat exchanger. Since we are already on the subject, we have taken the issue one step further. We offer the Peltier type sample gas cooler TC Standard Plus X2 as a variant of the washout optimized cooler, but for use in attic zone 2. All sample gas coolers for safe area except the EGK219 Plus can be equipped with a Modbus RTU interface for digital communication. Below is a summary of the various sample gas cooler models. We have the Peltier type models TC Standard Plus. TC MIDI Plus and TC Standard Plus X2. Compressor coolers for safe area include the EGK219 Plus and the RC1.2 Plus. The CU EMA Plus 
It's especially for maritime applications and is approved by DNB GL. All other sample gas cooler models are suitable for SEMS and process measurements. Another product in our concept of washout optimized sample gas coolers is the pre-cooler PC1. The PC1 is equipped with a heat exchanger with three connections. The connections left and middle are gas inlet and outlet. The third connection is for the optional acid dosing. The PC1 has no cooling block or Peltier element. It is cooled by ambient air which is ventilated onto the heat exchanger. The solution approach for a system certification with TUV is to use a small Peltier type sample gas cooler and use the PC1 for the extreme conditions. The PC1 has a relatively high cooling capacity of 40 watts. Nevertheless, it can reach the high dew point of 70 degrees centigrade, which is required for TUV certifications. Due to the optimized heat exchanger, no additional SO2 is lost in the pre-cooler PC1. The optional Acid dosing with a PC1 can assist to reach SO2 levels of less than 12 ppm. To use the third connection, you need the MEDOS dosing unit. There is a reservoir for the acid solution, and on the right side, a peristaltic pump for feeding the acid solution continuously to the heat exchanger. The unit complies with EN15267-3 and can reduce the SO2 washout significantly. There are other features such as a level monitor and a collection pan for safe acid storage as an option. On this slide, we show the equipment connected up. We will now see this setup in a short video. Building block 4 is our customer support. May I introduce you to my colleague Ralf Siete? Ralf has been at Bühler Technologies for over 14 years and is responsible for export sales of sample gas conditioning equipment in Northern and Eastern Europe. Ralf has over 30 years of experience in international sales. You can find Ralf's contact details in our website. Please meet my colleague Wolfgang Stoll. Wolfgang is with Bulla Technologies for more than 11 years. Since 2019, he is responsible for the export activities in the Middle East, Africa and South America. He has more than 25 years of experience in domestic and international sales of gas analysis equipment. Again, you can find contact details on our website. Please do not hesitate to contact us should you require further information. We are there to assist you. Please remember, there are also our colleagues from inside sales who are ready to help you. We now come to an extremely useful tool when you are selecting the most suitable cooler for your application the Cooler Calculation Program. This tool enables you to select quickly and safely the optimum cooler. As you can see, a number of basic parameters need to be entered. Cooler connections, metric or imperial, material of the heat exchanger. For washout optimized coolers, there are just two options glass 
or PVDF. Hazardous or safe area. If hazardous, you have to select either zone 1 or zone 2. Number of gas paths. For washout optimized coolers, you need to enter 1. Number of heat exchangers. For washout optimized coolers, you need to enter 2. Sample gas pressure and bar absolute. Maximum sample gas temperature. Maximum inlet dew point or alternatively the maximum moisture content. If you enter one of the two parameters, the other appears automatically. The maximum flow rate through the cooler which you require. And finally the maximum ambient temperature. Having entered all the necessary parameters, you press calculate. You will see the required gas energy appears in kilojoules per hour. Also more interesting than this, if you go down to page 2, you will see the load on the cooler and the load on the heat exchanger is given. And perhaps most importantly, whether the cooler is suitable or not. Has it enough capacity? Has the heat exchanger sufficient capacity? If you are unsure about any of your most demanding parameters, you can simply change them and recalculate. Then take a look at the new result. It could be that a cooler is no longer possible due to the increased load. Or if less cooling power is required, perhaps a smaller, more economic cooler is possible to use. This tool is on our website and is very easy to work with. If you are still not sure about it, you can always contact us and we can go through your data with you. The cooler calculation program can be used not only for standard applications, but also for washout optimized cooling solutions in the near future. It saves you time wondering which sample gas cooler to offer. And you have the safety of knowing it has enough capacity or not. And also if the heat exchanger has sufficient capacity. And finally, to select a cooler which will do the job without going with one which has more capacity than you require. This can save you cost, which we think is also important for you. This completes my introduction of the cooler calculation program. Now we are going to look in detail at the performance of the pre-cooler PC1. I would like to walk you through this diagram to get a feeling of what the advantage of the PC1 can be in your application. The x-axis shows the sample gas flow in liters per hour. The y-axis the outlet dew point in degree centigrade. The diagram is based on the assumption of an inlet dew point of 70 degrees C which is the TUV certification requirement for automated emission monitoring system according to the European norm 15267-3. The outlet dew point of the PC1 is highly dependent on the ambient temperature in which the sample gas cooler is operating. The PC1 has been tested at ambient temperatures between 20 degrees C to 40 degrees C, as shown by the four curves. With an increasing sample gas flow, the curves are flattening out, showing the decreasing capacity of the pre-cooler. The example in the diagram assumes a gas flow of 200 liters per hour at an ambient temperature of 30 degrees C. Following the orange arrow to the y-axis shows a result of approximately 57 degrees C outlet dew point, indicating that the PC1 is reducing the dew point of the flue gas by 13 degrees centigrade. This is quite a remarkable performance of the pre-cooler PC1 and allows you to select a smaller main sample gas cooler to reduce the water content. The result of this calculation can
can be used for the gas cooler calculator, which Ralph just introduced to you. Let us discuss the motivation and the measurement situation which led to the development of the PC-1. In up to 80% of the application time in a typical measurement system, the inlet dew point is less than 60 degrees centigrade. This corresponds to 19% of water by volume. In case of 200 liters per hour, only 36 watts cooling power is required, which means that in up to 80% of the application time, a small Peltier cooler is adequate. However, according to EN 15267-3, the measurement system is tested at a dew point of 70 degrees centigrade, 30% by volume H2O, which is really high. In case of 200 liters per hour, a cooling capacity of 60 watts is necessary, meaning that a compressor cooler with a capacity of 75 watts is required. The PC-1 reduces the required cooling capacity drastically. Now let's talk about the motivation to consider a sample gas cooler with SO2 washout optimized heat exchanges. This diagram can give you some interesting insight. Given is the relatively high inlet dew point of 70 degrees centigrade, which corresponds to a water content of 30% per cubic meter of sample gas. If your SO2 concentration is in the range of 50 ppm, the potential loss of SO2 is less than 3 ppm with a washout optimized sample gas cooler. If we take it to the limit of less than 12 ppm as a future emission limit, the potential loss is less than 1 ppm, which of course can only be achieved with acid dosing during gas conditioning. This diagram is the result of 60 test cycles. This ends the second part of the presentation. Ralph, shall we have a look at the chat to see what the audience has to say? Maybe there are some new questions which we might address. Yes, there are questions, Ralph. What makes the washout optimized heat exchanges different from the others? This is a question which interests customers immediately. What is the difference between our standard heat exchangers and the washout optimized heat exchangers? There was a lot of development work carried out for the washout optimized heat exchangers. During the development, we realized that the condensate flow in the heat exchanger has a big impact on the washout. We also discovered that the condensate formation in the setup is much more controlled. In the heat exchanger, there is a type of heat management which reduces condensation. There are two heat exchangers in line to make sure we can reach the outlet dew point of 5 degrees centigrade. Together with the optimized geometry and the heat management, there is adequate cooling. Similar to the normal heat exchangers, but with much reduced washout. Uh, a second question has come in, Wolfgang, and uh, perhaps you can answer it. Which acid is used in the ME-DOS dosing unit? A standard. We are using phosphoric acid. If for some reason you cannot use it, then we need to look at your sample gas composition to check which alternative could be suitable for your application. Next question, Ralf. Are the washout optimized coolers gas specific for SO2? or can they be employed for H2S as well? 
The good news is that all washout optimized sample gas coolers work on all water soluble gas components. Taking the example of H2S, yes, you can use the washout optimized coolers. And Ralph, what can you what can you say about the water solubility of H2S? H2S is considerably less water soluble than SO2. Okay. If you compare with SO2 as a reference value, then you need you reach a significant improvement. Okay, Ralf. Thank you for the detailed explanations. We still have the third part of the webinar. There are applications where our components are being used and we would like to show you them in detail. Application one for certification of a continuous emission monitoring system for NO, SO2, CO2, CO and O2. SO2 certification range is 0 to 571 milligram per cubic meter, which corresponds to approximately 200 ppm. And here is the measurement setup. At the gas inlet, the sample gas probe GAS222.21 with blowback. For gas conditioning, we are using the sample gas cooler RC1.2+. And here are the components, live and in color. The sample gas probe GAS222.21, our best-selling heated sample gas probe with built-in blowback for applications with high dust concentrations. The sample gas cooler RC1.2 Plus optimized for low washout. This application is also exciting. It involves particularly small measuring ranges for SO2, 0 to 150 milligrams per cubic meter, which corresponds to 0 to 51 ppm SO2. We therefore have a measuring system which covers SO2 values less than 50 ppm. How was this achieved? In this application, we use the heated gas sampling probe GAS222.17 for gas extraction and the sample gas cooler EGK219+. Please note, the sample gas pump is employed in between the two cooling stages. NO2 conversion is carried out by the NOx converter Bunox2+. Now we come to photos of these three products. The GAS222.17, one of the most popular sample gas probes in our product range. The EGK219 Plus, a proven sample gas cooler, which is used for many years in numerous measuring systems. And finally, the Bunox2 Plus, an established product for reliable conversion of NO2 to NO. This concludes the presentation about the washout optimized sample gas coolers from Bühler Technologies for applications with low concentrations of water soluble sample gas components. Let's see if we have some more questions in the chat. There are questions, Ralph, and here's the first one. How high is the phosphoric acid concentration and how high is the consumption? Using the MEDOS, we have two possibilities with the peristaltic pump, either 13 milliliters per hour or 61 milliliters per hour. Normally 13 milliliters per hour is used with 10% phosphoric acid concentration. These are just guidelines. And it can be modified if we can discuss your specific sample gas composition with you. Now we have a second question, which perhaps you could answer, Wolfgang. Where is the sampling train should the calibration gas be introduced? 
This is a very interesting and justified question, which is also of common interest. Because the quality of the calibration has an immediate effect on the quality of the measured value. In other words, this question has a direct effect on the quality and precision of the measurement. Our statement is quite clear. We recommend to apply the calibration gas before the first cooling stage. The calibration gas and sample gas should flow over the moisture and heat exchanger. Please note that, there if, that if there is a setup where the calibration is carried out between the two cooling stages, we expressly do not recommend to do this for the washout optimized coolers. The calibration gas should always be exposed to the same conditions as the sample gas. There is a more general question that has been placed regarding the temperature in the probe. The temperature in the process can go up to 1600 degrees centigrade with the necessary sample tube. Before entering the probe, it needs to drop down to 180 degrees centigrade or 200 degrees centigrade, depending on the model. What is really important is that the temperature of the sample gas stays above the dew point so that no condensate forms and aerosols are not washed out. This was quite an exciting subject to cover. I propose we now switch to the chat and answer more of your questions. If you have to leave right now, we kindly ask you to fill in the questionnaire and give us your impression of the webinar. Or maybe you would like to suggest another subject, which we may address in one of the next online presentations. For now, I would like to thank you for your interest in our webinar about washout optimized sample gas conditioning. We will stay in the chat for your further questions. Goodbye and take care. Goodbye also from me. I hope you enjoyed our presentation. We look forward to hearing from you soon.